Let's play that sounds like a bluey game. Let's play bouncy hands. Not bouncy hands. Like this episode of Blue is called Bouncy Hands. Can you hit bouncing to each other? You gotta be honest with yourself, but give it a true bounce, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Too true. <laughs> Too honest. If I'm, being, if I'm being really honest, my hands don't bounce. <laughs> it has no bounce. It's very floppy. <laughs> Cat left. We have no direction. <laughs> we have no direction. We have nowhere to go. Hey, brother! And welcome, everyone, to another edition of J vs. Ben, where today we're taking on the ultimate boy who lies quiz. You didn't talk with your hands at all. Well, I'm normally, sorry. I normally, like, am able to, like, follow along with you, but instead I just had to sort of sit there quietly and watch you speak words out loud. <sighs> this is niche. This we're, is super we're, niche. We're Do you want me to read you the description of this quiz so that it's better like laid out? Sure. Okay, so this is the actual description from the Wizarding World quiz. It says, when it came to Harry's trustworthiness, Rita Skeeter's inflammatory Triwizard era reporting had serious consequences, leading many to disbelieve Harry and Dumbledore when they said Voldemort had returned. But can you remember who was a friend and who was a foe during this tricky time? Serious consequences indeed. And and five, three, two, one, go! Nailed it. It was kind of was, okay. That was right. Right. <laughs> That's pretty good. Anyway, without any further ado, let's dive on. In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Kangaroo Cat is sitting on the other end of the camera. She's waving, but you can't see her. She's going to be reading us today's 10 standard questions plus an additional five from our quiz masters over on Patreon. Ben and I, as always, will have to remember all of the answers completely by memory, but if we both agree we have no idea, we can ask Cat to give us the multiple choice. If you would like to play along with us, there is a link to this quiz in the description down below. Otherwise, let's go. Question one. Which Ministry of Magic official visited Harry in the hospital after the third Triwizard task, but refused to believe his account of Voldemort's return? Oh, well, I mean, I think uh, I've got this one. Yeah. Right, yeah, easy. Easy peasy, lemon, artichokes. <laughs> that would probably be the worst kind of fudge. Oh, oh that was good. I wrote in his probable middle name of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Cornelius Chocolate Fudge. Yeah. He's just got a real sweet tooth. <laughs> oh man, I've got uh, I've got Hungry Games on the brain. I literally almost wrote Coriolanus Fudge. Coriolanus. <laughs> Corio. Corio. I would have accepted it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Question two: Which Weasley? Seem to initially believe Rita Skeeter's Witch Weekly story about Harry and Hermione he headlined Harry Potter's Secret Heartache. Uh huh. Got it. No problem. <gasps> no. Nope. Uh oh. Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> this guy, am I right? This is the question <clears throat> I had to switch around. Or one of them. Okay. You got it? Are Which you ready? Would you like me to read it again? No, it's fine. Ready? One. Okay. Two, three. Molly Wobbles. Molly Wobbles is correct. Yeah. Molly Wobblies. Gone. All right. Easy. So far, so good. And now it's time for the first quiz master question of the game. Let's go. This question was submitted by Amy Melsoner and Peyton Vo and voted on by patrons. What made Hermione suspect Mrs. Weasley believed this Rita Skeeter article? I reworded it because it matched the previous <clears throat> question, but yeah, that's the question. Bit of a long-winded answer, I think. Um, uh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna give simple phrasing <clears throat> and hope that it makes sense. Okay. I think there's a long-winded way to say it and a short-winded way to say it. So. Okay. I okay. think either would be fine. Okay. 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 Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. I said getting a single chocolate, probably fudge, egg for Easter. <laughs> I said she received a small egg. Small um, egg. Yeah, it was just like smaller than the others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's like, wow. Yeah, it was smaller than Harry and Ron, Ron. So, yeah. Right. And then and she's like, your mom doesn't by chance read. Yeah. Read a skeeter. Exactly. And yep. Like, she does all the recipes. 
<laughs> for the recipes, yeah. yeah. Which weekly. Alrighty. Which of these Ministry of Magic officials did believe Harry's account? Oh. I'm gonna give you an oh. A through D. A. Kingsley Shacklebolt. B. Barty Crouch Senior. C. John Dolish. And D. Madame Edgecombe. Which of these did believe Harry's account? I can't tell. If okay. Right. All right. All right. Three. <clears throat> yeah. Ready? I guess. I'm going to be mad, I think. Three, two, one. Kingsley? Kingsley. Yeah, it's Kingsley. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, doesn't Dolish pick him up from the. Isn't Dolish one of the. No, no, not it's no. Deadless Diggle. You're right. Diggle. Yeah. Dolish, yeah. I think, is a Death Eater. And then I'm pretty sure Barty Crouch Senior is dead by this point. I think he is. <laughs> so I so don't know why would, he was. So maybe he was he an would option. Have. This was not a question that a quiz master wrote. So Dumbledore. <laughs> Dumbledore. Now she had Dumbledore. <laughs> question five. What ministry role was Percy Weasley given that ultimately led him to reveal he didn't believe Harry or Dumbledore? Oh man, what's his role? His his title, if you yeah. will. Yeah. His uh, job descript not description job title. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how like quirky. It's specific. I don't know if it's quirky, but it's specific. I think that's basically it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Is the personal assistant to the Minister of Magic? It is the junior assistant to the minister. So, I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, that feels like a half point. It's like we either both got it or we both missed it. So yeah. I suppose when it comes yeah, down to it. Yeah, when it comes down to it, you know. Both half point. Overruled. Both half point. All right. Oh! Give me a half penny. And now it's time for the second quiz master question of the game. Bring it. This question was submitted by Duck Patronus 18 and voted on by patrons. The question is, <clears throat> which professor gives Harry a box of sugar mice to express their support of him? Oh, okay, I think I know this one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I think this is right. Weird. Box of sugar mice. What a weird thing. I imagine you just open this box and I'm imagining just like sugar brought to life running around <laughs> in the shape of mice. Like That's why would you thinking. want to like eat Like little that? sugar cubes, yeah. Why would you want to eat sugar rodents, you know? Why I mean, if you're it... finna go dare, I think you'd like to eat it, like a sugar cube. So yeah, like, but I know, like but like mice? I'd rather just eat like magically enchanted sugar cubes. You know, why would they make them in the shape of mice? Is what mm -hmm. I'm wondering. Yeah. I don't know, maybe it's like chocolate frog. I was about to say, they do yes, frogs. They do chocolate frog. I, I wouldn't want to eat a frog. Gummy worms. I don't know. Do you think we chocolate do eat frogs gummy worms. have chocolate organs? Or do you think I do so? now. <laughs> <laughs> Anatomically correct. <laughs> oh, God, I'm jump in them. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I have a guess. So I'm going to Chocolate go with blood. Ugh. Ooh. It's just chocolate, guys. It's fine. Okay. It's Red chocolate. velvet chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Ready? One, two, three. I said Flitwick. I said Flitwick, too. It is Flitwick. Yay! Good job. Man, we're all over this one, Duck Patronus 18. Y'all are great. So proud. All righty. Question seven. Which one of Harry's dormitory mates called Harry mad and said Dumbledore was losing his marbles? Um... Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's gots to be. It gots, gots to be. To, gots, gots to, to gots, gots to. to. Gots yep. to. Mm -hmm. Ready? One, two, three. Good old Seamus. Good old Seamus is correct. Seamus Finnegan. Seamus Finnegan. I believe Mr. Finnegan. Good old the, the, the Seamus Finn hits it on his chin again. Anybody know that? What are the words to that one? What? It's like a little limerick thing. Not limerick, but. It's from. Good old Michael Finnegan again again. Begin oh, again. That one? I don't know that one. Oh, I don't okay. know it. I know there was once was a ship that went to see the name of the ship was That's something. A bully of tea. A 
Uh, yeah. Billy O.T., I think Billy is what it is. Billy O.T. Uh, bully of weed is what I usually say. <laughs> I think it's bully a Billy O.T. I'm always just like, I like the sound of this. I know. I, I don't know the word. I feel like I would love to be wow, in... Wow, this is a cool pirate cosplay. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be in a. I want to be in a pub where everybody's singing this together, all jovially, like, you know, and bum, 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 bum. And, Yeah, yeah. Right? I, yeah. It's like, imagine, like, the Gaston song, except, like, less, with less Gaston. Right. Um, <laughs> less yeah. Gaston energy. Yeah. And more, like, more less like, kiss me cool. <laughs> yeah. So I looked it up, and interestingly, interestingly, it is. I, I, Cat is more right than I am. Okay. Right. However, so. I'm not as wrong as I thought I was. Okay. Right. There once was a ship that put, put to, to sea. See. The name of the ship was the Billy O.T. The winds blew up, her, her bow dipped, dipped down. down. Oh, blow my bully boys blow. Yeah. Boy. But I got the bully from. Just in a different bully, part, yeah. Bully but bully a bully of weed, I have no idea where that came from. No idea. Yeah. It's just like filling Yeah, in Billy the OT. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty, which Ravenclaw student told Harry they believed him whilst wearing a pair of radish earrings? Oh, <laughs> well, you know, I feel like it could have been hard. And then yeah, it wasn't. and then it wasn't. <laughs> and then it wasn't. Because it is, of course, the one, the only Rod <laughs> Ravies. <laughs> <laughs> Luna uh, yeah, it's actually Anthony Goldstein. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> no, it's Luna Anthony Logan. Goldstein over there, like, trying to get Luna's attention. Like, yo, check out my earrings. Yeah. yeah well, you know, speaking but they would have been really compatible, you know, with the yeah. the matching earrings. Yeah. 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 On that note, though, guys, I'm off the, I'm off the old streaking shack, as oh, okay. it were. As uh, it were. <laughs> okay, have Did fun. Did you say sh- streaking shack? Yeah, you missed a lot in the last episode. What? Kat. Okay. I don't to tell you. Hello and welcome everybody to a very special edition of The Scenic Group, where, as you may know, after the past several years, I have had an affinity for hiding Jay's beloved honey. However, today I have stolen something a little bit different. Today I have stolen his ad read. And you might be wondering to yourself, well, Ben, what do you possibly stand to gain by stealing somebody's ad read? And I think that the answer sort of speaks for itself. Oh yeah, you guessed it. Today's video is brought to you by DoorDash. Man, I think he's talking about glasses or something today. What a nerd. Good cake. Now, I'm sure you guys are like me and life just gets busy on you sometimes. And that is when it is just so nice to have the luxury of having whatever you want or need delivered right to your door. And thanks to DoorDash grocery delivery, you can do exactly that. Now, I'm sure at this point in time, you've already trusted DoorDash with your favorite restaurant delivery, but it's very possible that you're completely sleeping on the grocery delivery option that they also have available. And with thousands of stores available to order from, you can get quality groceries delivered right from your neighborhood. And DoorDash guarantees that they will get you exactly what you ordered, or they'll make it right. And if you want even more value out of all of your favorite restaurant and grocery deliveries, you can get a $0 delivery fee on all eligible orders with a Dash Pass membership. And with easy substitutions right inside of the app and best-in-class customer support, DoorDash ensures that you get your groceries exactly as you want them. So get 50% off your first DoorDash order, up to a $20 value when you use code J versus B at checkout. Limited time offer and terms do apply. That's 50% off, up to a $20 value, no minimum subtotal, and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and Enter code J versus B. One more time, that is code J versus B when you download the DoorDash app for 50% off your first order. Link in the description down below. In case you need some inspiration, you can never go wrong with a literal whole cake. I mean, gosh. That's local bakery goodness. What nonsense is that? Is Ben doing the DoorDash ad read? That is my job. I'm supposed to get cake for that, but it's fine. I'll look past it this time through my Warby Parker glasses, today's other sponsor. Yeah, pretty happy about today's sponsor because Warby Parker has everything you need for happier eyes from eyeglasses to contact lenses to sunglasses to eye exams and you can shop with them online or in store. Literally all of my glasses for the past 10 years have come from Warby Parker because one, they're super affordable. They're only like $95 a pair and two, they have this super fun at home try on thing you can do. Basically what you do is you go online at warbyparker.com 
youtube.com slash J verse B and then choose five different pairs you want to try on and they send them to you all to your house with no obligation or anything. And then they show up but it's like having a fashion show for your eyes. Like I love this part of the process. You get to, like, I always try and choose like one or two like really funky ones I wouldn't normally go for. But then you try mine and you're like, well, well, maybe, mm, you know, better than I thought. Like even these, these were a new style for me. I used to wear like all black lenses but I really like the translucent one and then my wife got to see them in person and she thought they looked really good. So I just went for it and actually pro tip, I actually got three different frames last time. I got these and then maybe you saw in last week's video, I got those blue frames which are a little bit bolder. And then I also got like an updated pair of like my classic black frames in case everyone, you know, feel a little classier for the day or something. But I never really had any issues at all. The glasses are quality made. They're easy to try on. And the whole process is like just, it's just fun. So if you want to try on five pairs of glasses at home for free, go to warbyparker.com slash jverseb. Make sure you use that address so they know that we sent you there. That's a very easy way to support the show. And it's free to do the at home try on. So why not? One more time, that is warbyparker.com slash jverseb. Link in the description down below. I'm back. I'm back. Welcome okay. back. All is well. 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 Have a good run. Oh, yeah, I'm great. Great. Yeah, <laughs> brisk. <laughs> I was going to ask. Alrighty, and now it's time for the third quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Law Ninja and voted on by patrons. Law Ninja deserves the MVP award, I think, for most appearances. They inside. submit so many questions. They're just like kind of bound to be in, in, the, in the quiz. Pro tip, you know? Pro tip. I never look when I'm like picking the questions to vote on. I never look at who submitted them. That's nice. the way to do it. I go. just look at it when I have to put their name on there. What Quality if, only. No favoritism here. No yeah, favoritism. Exactly. He just submits a lot of questions. <laughs> who is the first of Harry's classmates to tell him they believe he did not put his name in the Goblet of Fire? The first of Harry's classmates. Mm, good question. Um, let's see. Let's go. For the wrong reasons, I have someone coming to brain, but I know that's a different scene entirely. Scene. Specifically, put the name in the Goblet of Fire. Yes, that, that, yes. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay. Which of Harry's classmates is the first to believe? I mean, I... I think that's right. I think this is right. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Hermione? Hermione? It is Hermione. Yes! Yay! Okay. I was like, because they have like the whole party and people keep asking him and then Ron is like, Nah. And yeah. I'm like, does Cedric count? I don't think Cedric believed him initially either. Yeah, yeah, he was a little skeptical. There yeah. was the, um, I mean, this is hopefully not giving away an answer to a future one, but I think next year, Neville is very forthright about how him and his gran are oh, on yeah. Harry's side. Next year? Right. Next question. Yeah, the, the next question is on the <laughs> Hogwarts Express <laughs> on their fifth year. <laughs> Who and his grandmother? <laughs> 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 who in their famous vulture hat wearing grandmother <laughs> believes Harry? Question 10. Which Hufflepuff student loudly announced they believed Harry and Dumbledore 100%? Uh -huh. Loudly announced. Loudly. loudly. Harry and Dumbledore. Um, Hopefully. I think. Ooh. <laughs> Is that right? Second guessing? <laughs> Oh man, now I am curious because there is another person of whom the loudly gives me certain implications, but I'm going to put this over here just because I feel like it's worth. Um, I think this is, I mean, <gasps> hmm, hmm. how many <laughs> Hufflepuff characters do we even know? <laughs> you know? Not okay. a lot. All right, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. It said Ernie McMillan. Ernie McMillan is correct. That's okay. old DA lads. That was what know. was throwing me off though, was... Yeah, I think it was, is during the whole DA thing. Yeah. Right, like in order for it to be us old DA lags, the DA has to have happened, which right. means he brings that up in Half-Blood Prince. Right. And at that point in time, more people do believe. Right, but he's in the DA, so he believes him ahead of time. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think Hannah Abbott, Oh, oh boy! Is he, or no, no, it's not even Hannah Abbott that I was thinking of. It was Susan Bones. Susan Bones, mm -hmm. because her, 
Oh, Madam Great Bones. Great aunt is uh, Madam Bones, and Madam Bones is the one at the hearing who's right. like, didn't the cross monocle. my mind even at all. Is that he wrote on the little side thing? I wrote Hannah Abbott, and then as I thought about it further, Susan Bones was another person oh who I think would have made sense. Do yeah. either of them even have speaking lines like at all ever? In the movies, no, probably not. Yeah, maybe there's a few things said here and there, but yeah. geez. Justin Finch Fletchley. Yeah. Well, you'd think he'd be like all about supporting Harry after he defeated the, you know, Slytherin's monster. You would think that. You Meanwhile, think so. the mist just fades into the background and then was heard from again. Alrighty, question 11. Which Gryffindor student told Hermione they thought Harry was lying? Which, which Gryffindor, Gryffindor stu student told Hermione that they thought. They Harry. thought. That's that this per person thought. That this person thought. No, Harry no. was lying. So I'm assuming the context is like Harry is, or Hermione is telling Harry like, blah, 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 told me she thought you were lying. Fellow Gryffindor student. Told Hermione. Told Hermione she thinks Harry's lying. Or they think. They think? We don't, yeah. So the question says they think. They think, so we don't know. It would be really dumb if this was just Seamus again. I don't think that's it. It does seem like it would be silly if it was Seamus again. Can you right. tell us if it's Seamus not is not on the multiple choice okay. Okay. answers. Okay. I think that that's, that's this is like one of those though where if like the quiz master and yep. the thing asked the same question, it would seem weird. Okay, so. But who else is there? Right, it's like, let me think of the other Gryffindors. I mean, there are not that many. Not that many. I mean, I guess I'm gonna go with... I'm going with this. Okay. Yep. Ready? One, two, three. Colin Lavender Brown. <laughs> it is Lavender Brown. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah, it, is. it is. You guys are doing wow. really good. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my God. And I was like, uh. I was like, yeah, I mean, the, we only, there are only three named Gryffindor females in Harry's year. Yeah. Right. And that is Parvati and Lavender, Lavender and, and Hermione. Hermione. Yeah. Um, and so it was kind of like, we know about Seamus already. We yeah. know how Dean feels about it. We yeah. know how Neville and Ron feel about it. It could have been like the other members of the Quidditch team or something, like Katie Bell or something. But that's the thing, like we know, like if they're Quidditch team members, like they're on Harry's side. They're on Harry's side! They're on Harry's side! <laughs> <They're on Harry's laughs> right. right, otherwise, yeah, it's, it's the Quidditch team, the other two girls, the rest of Harry's classmates, Percy Weasley, and the Creevy brothers. And that's like, that's all of Griffin. Oh, Cormac the, the, McClagan. Cormac McClagan. Cormac, Cormac McClagan. Yeah. The, the multiple choice answers, if you're interested, were Oliver Wood, who I don't think is around at this point. Nope. Uh, Ramilda Vane, Lavender Brown, and Katie Bell. Ramilda Vane. Ramilda Vane. Now it's time for the fourth quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Pokemonster and voted on by patrons. Okay, which of the following families canceled their subscription to the Daily Prophet over the reporting on Harry and Dumbledore? Oh my. A, Weasley, B, Thomas, C, Finnegan, D, Longbottom, and E, Patil. Okay, okay. Because okay. the Daily Prophet would have like changed their tune by book six. Yeah, but only just barely. But, ah, uh, No, because Fudge believes he's back, because he sees he's him. He's back! True. Okay. All right. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. I just said Weasley and Longbottom. I said Thomas and Longbottom. Uh, it's Weasley and Longbottom. Yes! Man! Really? Yeah. Man. I was like, uh, maybe Patil? Maybe? Because I want to say like the Patils are like maybe considering leaving Hogwarts or something. I thought Dean was like, like, I don't know why I'm hearing it like, we read the Quibble Quibbler now. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can see something like that. Hmm. <laughs> Could be. But it's definitely Weasley. Alrighty, question 13. What was the name of the student who joined Dumbledore's army and wanted proof that Voldemort was back? Like, that's the main reason why he joined. Yeah, what's his name? What is his name? This is not hard. <laughs> oh, I got it. I feel like we talk about this guy a lot. <laughs> Cause he's a real, he's a real stick in the old mud. He yeah. sure is. Stick in the mud. Real stick in the mud. But what it, he, I, I, this is not even like, I just know this. This is, yeah. this is not. I'm sure you're going to get there. 
I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Do you just have like an answer from earlier stuck in your head? Yes. Is that what's an happening? Answer familiar? Yeah. yeah. An answer from earlier. Oh, okay. It's like, what's an answer familiar? <laughs> <laughs> I've got like a, the the vague familiarness of the answer. <laughs> whenever I'm, whenever I'm when I look at this answer, I'm like, hey, you're familiar. If I could just, ah, where do I know you from? Ah. He's such a doofus. Ooh. He's such a punching bag of a character. Right, yes. He's, he's quite unlikable. Yeah. Golly gee whiz, man. Golly cheese whiz. Golly cheese whiz. <laughs> Golly cheese whiz. I'm going to start using man. that. I'm so mad right now. Yeah. I'm so mad. <laughs> Would you like the multiple it's... choice? No. <laughs> I was like, there's no way Jay's going to I got it, that. man. Yep. I got it. <laughs> My brain is like just so blank right now. I'm so frustrated. It's like not even trying. It's just like. The desk. It's not even trying. You're yeah. like, no, throw it no, into gear, brain. It's like, ah, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, I think I've had it for today. I'm just like, uh, no thanks. Still off at the, sh at the, at the streaking shack. <laughs> the streaking shack. What happened with the streaking shack? Well, there was a lot of Remus and serious questions last time. That's so there was fair. a lot of shrieking shack talk. Yeah, that, okay. I the first it. rule of the shrieking shack is you don't talk about the shrieking shack. <laughs> Got that it. does sound like the first rule. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I can't think of it. Oh, oh man. Just you're just going to hate name. yourself, man. I know. All right. right. I'm just Here, write down an answer and then think about like, wait a minute, is this answer close? Because sometimes you do that. I know. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Zachariah Smith. Zachariah it's Smith. Zachariah it Smith. Is. That is Literally, correct. Literally, my brain kept saying like Xander. Why would it be Xander? Z, yeah, and I, yeah, and I was getting this. Exactly. Oh, you're right though. Says, I told yeah. you. Yeah. It, it was the lurgiest of losers. The lurgiest of losers. Man, that's so <laughs> frustrating. That is. Yeah. And I apologize to those those people who are rooting Everyone's for me because screaming at you. That was that was missing a softball. Yeah, will, it's okay. Yeah. It happens. We have little brain parts sometimes. It's okay. Question fourteen. After Harry's Quibbler interview came out, which teacher expressed their support by awarding him twenty points? For handing a water can, watering can. Oh, well, I mean. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know why this was the last question on the thing. Is this, is this question 14 or 15? This is 14, but like 14, the but last the, one yeah. on the, on the oh, I see. Wizard yeah. World thing. All right, ready? One, two, three. Professor Sprout. Professor Sprout. Yay! Yay. I feel like there's Correct. been a couple on this one where if like one inclusion, like if it had just been like who awarded them 20 points. I know. Like, like the watering hmm. can is sort of like, yeah. Well, who could it well, be? Well, who else would uh, it no, be? Like, I mean, would maybe can? Hagrid, because there's like a garden I there. Guess. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, yeah. They're transfiguring water cans But like we today. knew Hagrid was going to support Harry no matter what. It's so, Snape. Like, yeah, it feels like Hagrid is like one of those characters that can't give him points <laughs> yeah. in general because it feels know, like right? favoritism. Yeah, for right. sure. <laughs> oh, how you doing, Harry? Have a, have a hundred points for Gryffindor just for showing up to <laughs> class today. Just for fun. <laughs> Alrighty. And now it is time for the fifth and final Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Erica Stokes and voted on by patrons. For most of the Order of the Phoenix, Seamus and his mother don't believe Harry. What causes what event causes Seamus to finally apologize and say he believes Harry? Um oh. I think that's it. Right? Yeah. Yep, I think that's it. <laughs> This Harry's like, finally got there, did ya? Yeah. Got there, did ya? Sorry about that, Harry. That was my best Seamus spin again. That was really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you, yeah. Truly really stupendous. So. <laughs> um, Trump bump. Dun dun, da 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 dun dun, dun dun, da 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 dun. Is that your thinking music? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> Whenever I'm thinking, I just hear Aladdin. I'm, my just, brain. I'm like running the streets of <laughs> <Yeah>. Agrabah. <laughs> Great soundtrack. Ahead of the answer. Like, no, no, no. Let the answer catch up, dude. <laughs> Let the answer catch up. Like, I've run away from the answers. <laughs> I know. Okay. What happens 
in ye old <laughs> order of the phoenix, ye prior, old. prior, because I'm pretty sure Seamus's first lesson is the one where they get found out about, because it was like, it was Seamus's first lesson too. First DA meeting. Oh. Which means it can't be the sacking of Dumbledore because that's what leads to the sacking of Dumbledore. Where Dumbledore exits with style. So something style. must happen before then. And that is one of the multiple choices. <clears throat> <I'm back. laughs> huh, how about that? Okay, so I'm narrowing You're getting in. there. You're getting there. Uh, that getting being there. said, though, the other big thing is that it doesn't seem like that many of the rules that Umbridge... Is she High Inquisitor at the same time that Dumbledore is still there, or does she become High Inquisitor upon his departure? No, well, I'm because, not going to help you. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> like, ooh! Um, there is, I'm, I'm sort of debating, there's a particular part of this that if you get it right, I'll give you the half point back, and I'll tell you what it is when you write down an answer. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Um, no. uh, okay. You got an answer locked in? Oh, hang on. No, no, no. Sorry. Oh, uh, okay. And I'll come to you? No, I don't know. Okay. I just have a better <laughs> answer than I had before. Okay. Before you turn around. If you have the number associated with this, I will give you an extra bonus point. That's like, <laughs> oh, dang it, did that make it worse? numbers. Why would there be a number? There'd be a number. Oh, man. Dang it, I was hoping you had the right answer and that wouldn't like give it away. <laughs> do you have a new answer? Do you get why that uh, right. would be a bonus point? I think so. Okay. All right, ready? One, two, three. That's it. 10 Death Eaters break out of Azkaban. It is 12 Death Eaters. It is 12? It's 12. Oh, no, oh, 12. So I will give you the point, but I won't give you the extra half point. I had the Azkaban break out, and yeah, then the I was like, break out. Yeah. Oh, well, education whatever. Degree. Oh, did you send your nope. this? This was a degree. Oh, oh I'm sorry. That made it that worse. For, I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. Uh, no, I, you know what? I didn't even write down the, the Azkaban break out. I wrote oh, okay, down okay. Arthur Weasley's attack. Well, so and that was another one of on the things. Whether or not things. you count Percy Weasley as a junior assistant or personal assistant, <laughs> I got them all right. That's impressive. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Man, yeah. Terry's just on fire. Today. I got there it. You go. We're in the zone. Otto <laughs> zone. The auto zone. Just because <laughs> all the Jim, answers are Jimmy, like Potter. Potter. Jimmy Potts. Yeah. Jimmy Potts. Jimmy Potts. Oh, I guess. man. <laughs> I think I arbitrarily assigned the number 19 car last week. Yeah. But I feel like it should be the number seven car because. The, oh, yeah, because yeah. of Harry. Yeah, yeah. that makes okay. sense. Okay. Retcon Jimmy Potts drives the number seven NASCAR <laughs> yeah. in car. the uh, fictional comic life of James Potter. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> we came, we saw, we participated, we got them all right. Mostly, yes. Yeah. Some of us, some of us did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. And now we need to give a huge thank you to these quiz masters who support us over on Patreon. Yeah, a huge shout out to Erica Stokes, Duck Patronus 18, Law Ninja, Pokemonster, Amy Melziner, and Peyton Vo. As ever, if you would like to try to stump us in a future episode of J vs. Ben, you can do so by heading over to patreon.com slash supercarlinbrothers and selecting the quiz masters tier. Thanks again to all of our patrons over on Patreon. Zachariah Smith, bro. Zachariah Smith. He strikes again. I know. I One know. more reason to hate him. That dude is the worst. <laughs> Can't even remember his name. Uh, stay tuned for my episode next week. Why I really dislike Zachariah Smith. Yeah. The real worst kind of villain because he's relatable in a exactly. kind of like, you probably knew someone like this in high school sort of way. I think we did that. I think we might have done that on our like 10 most evil characters in Harry Potter video. We included Zachariah Smith. I think so. Yeah. yeah. I, I think once upon a time we also made one for Toy Story about how Mr. Potato Head is the true villain of Toy Story well, because he he's like actively the one that's like undermining and causing like strife between everybody. Right. He's like the one who's like 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 rallying the troops. Right. He's like maybe if Woody's gone, that's one less person in front of me to be Andy's favorite toy. Exactly. And everybody mm -hmm. knows Potato Head's 
Just right you up can't there trust for, those spuds. For, for top toys. <laughs> Why do you think Gryffindors like baked potatoes so much? Hmm? Mm. Yeah. So you have to watch this channel a lot to really follow the line of logic that we have going on right now. Someone, uh, someone at home is like, this is this is mm, top tier <laughs> comedy right here. <laughs> I am, this is what I'm here for. Chef's kiss. Yeah. Anyway, guys, be sure to let us know how you did in the towel section down below. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, until next time. Bye. bye.